Hello friends, today's video I am going to start a series in which I am going to explain about delay analysis and claims management. First of all, I need to realize you people as an engineer or management professional or any where you are working in project management and you want to build your career in planning or in senior level planning and control or management job roles who are dealing with delay analysis, EOTs. So why delay analysis and claims management is so important? I can highlight the importance by visualizing you people some stats that can let you know that how important this skill set is. So as of now, I can share you the slides. Here you can see the construction and oil and gas industry facts on delay, cost and claims. First of all, you need to understand the size of construction industry. So global construction industry output is around 13 to 15 trillion dollar annually. That's a much bigger size, huh? big, big industry. Forecasts show it may grow to 20 trillion dollar by 2030, driven by infrastructure, urbanization and energy projects. So if we talk about oil and gas projects, so global oil and gas industry generates over five trillion dollar annually it accounts for a major share of epc contracts engineering procurement and construction with multi-billion dollar refineries lng plants pipeline and offshore platforms oil and gas mega projects are high risk 60 to 70 percent of project exceed planned cost like here i'm going to share with you people the things where delay analysis is step in more than uh, 60 to 70 percent projects are not ended up on the estimated cost they are exceeding like i'll give, give you an example let's say project a was planned at the initial stage that it will be completed within one year but you know if we talk about realistic as per the realistic survey outcomes it is going to take 1.5 years right so ultimately, it is also going to cause to grow your cost. More cost will be incurred on that specific project. So that extended period of time is cost because of within that timeline of the project, there were many unforeseen events happened, which caused to delay that project, right? So I'm here on that dashboard or screen sharing with you people that uh, as a planning engineer, management professional, this is a Gantt chart, which is showing that project was planned like this way, right? In 60 days, it was supposed to deliver, right? This is critical path, non-critical path. And now in the next slide, you can see that how the progress was, uh, you know, on the screen. Any unforeseen delay event happened and it is like this one and your original baseline was disturbed, your logic is shifted and something happened like this way. So your plan is shifted ahead what you planned, right? You plan to complete that project to deliver on 60th day, but now it is enhanced. The completion date is pushed on. So now your actual completion date and you can see the impact of this delay. So that is the period of time which is actually the delay, right? Your project was pushed off from original completion date or planned completion day to the revised completion date. So here I'm going to share with you one more fact. When you are going to estimate your project cost, let's suppose you have estimated my project is going to be completed in one year so within that one year you have estimated the cost of your project that within this time period you need cranes you need labor you need welding plants batching plants and so on labor non-labor and your material so if your project is going to extend for 15 days for five days for one month or two months whatever so it is not only time extension, it is also going to be a cost liability, right? For that period of extra timeline, you need to, uh, you know, procure for the material, for the manpower, for the all the services, and you are going to pay for the extra time that is coming from the extra cost. So that is actually the symbol of loss. So why these delays are happening out there, right? 
so percentage of project delays the trends we need to understand first of all the you know uh, uh, 20 percent longer than the schedule like any simple to complex project is usually taking 20 percent longer time due to unforeseen circumstances around 70 percent of mega projects face time overruns around the uh, globe right and then another fact or stat in oil and gas 60 percent of upstream epc project face delays due to engineering challenges like your drawings are not ready they are not enough uh, factual right they need revisions that is why it happened environmental approvals contractual under poor performances impact of delays on cost that is what i have explained you if time is gonna extended your cost is gonna extended so i hope you can understand now the trend across the globe over on the mega projects either you talk about europe us canada australia gulf region right it is talking about all the stats right so 5 billion lng project delayed by one year can add 500 million dollar right so you can now understand how much it is sensitive how much it is cost uh you know can say it is going to suck all the cost right in one blow so delays also trigger liquidity damages extended overheads so these are the facts so now i'm going to talk about certain things like uh, what are the factors we need to understand uh, poor planning if contractor is not that much uh, you know efficient to deploy their resources where i need machinery labor manpower right so if the poor performance is there it is gonna make that delay design error anything which is not factual or your drawings are not accurate it is going to delay your work resource shortage insufficient project management financial cash flow problems subcontractor delays communication gaps are the internal factors which can potentially uh, delay your project right and then some external uh, factors like you know adverse weather conditions force majors like pandemic war disasters regulatory authorities uh, per permits land issues supply chain disruptions or procurement community social issues economic crisis inflation currency drop so these are internal and external reasons which can push your project completion date ahead than you know contractual already planned date so it can make a big big difference i have started making all these delay analysis and claims management videos before that i have already completed the uh, playlist for project planning control using primavera p6 that playlist link is shown above right you can click and start watching planning control and moreover subscribe this channel so that I'm making this playlist for delay analysis and claims management. This is advanced level senior planning skill set. So I want all of you people to continue watching this series as well so that you can enhance your knowledge, enhance your exposure for planning and control and understand how delay analysis and claims management is, uh, you know, going to help you and other industries. So develop these skills so that other companies are going to hire you so that you can solve their problems if you are a professional and you want very uh, expedited level course with professional uh, understanding of red book scl society of construction law ace mr uh, standards primavera p6 exposure with different kind of forensic schedule analysis methodologies you can enroll in my self-paced course link is given in this video details so see you in my next video Stay tuned with me and write down in the comment area delay analysis and claims management so that maximum people can watch this video. Thank you very much.